Greetings fellow life forms. I would like to welcome you to another project of my 3D printed models. This time, as you can see, uh, we will actually take a look at Destiny from Stargate Universe. So uh, here are a few pictures just to you know remind you uh, how the ship ship actually looks. Uh, so yeah, I will make it a little bit bigger. So yeah. So this is basically the ship and this is what we will try to do. Uh, here uh, you can see it with uh, from the top view with uh, the seat sheet attached. Okay, so this is basically what we have to do and now, well, let's go straight to Creo and take a look at my model. So this is the model I have with some basic um, paint scheme, though I'm not sure if I will actually uh, paint it like this, but yeah, this is it. Now on the first glance you will probably be a um, little bit surprised by those four cannons. Though Destiny does uh, have those cannons, they don't look like that. Well, they don't, and uh, I wanted them to be attachable, but uh, then I was also, you know, um, I had to obey uh, the process of 3D printing. So, as a matter of fact, the ship itself was smaller originally. Um, I kind of, because I I'm running out of space, so I wanted to make the models smaller, but as you can see I really love to add more details to the model and when I did that yeah, I kinda went to the boundaries of the capabilities of the FDM printing, so um, from the beginning those cannons were actually more unproportional unproportional because the the diameter that you can see here is still 1.5 millimeters so it's really small yet compared to the ship it looks kinda big now uh, when I started with it the overall dimension of the ship is a length of roughly 30 centimeters and width something about 26 centimeters yeah anyway uh, this is the ship. You probably noticed that I also have two shuttles here. Yeah, those shuttles, they are not really the most detailed. As you can see, the front is completely wrong, but uh, I'm not uh, really considering doing anything about that from one simple reason. The length of that shuttle is only two centimeters. So, I don't really think that I will in the end even print them. Uh, I can try, but uh, most likely I won't print them at all. And I will give them to my friend Ali, uh, who has SLA printer, so the resin printer. So he will hopefully help me and print it there. Uh, how does it work? As you can see here, we have a bag. And here the corresponding one and the shuttle itself has small hole for it so it could be attached uh, to the ship itself those cannons those are uh, separate models as well so they will be attach uh, attachable uh, to those four weapon pods and they could even be rot rotated Okay, so as you can see there are quite a lot of details and uh, I would like to show you how the whole model will actually go together. So we will hide everything and start from scratch. So here we have a first part and as you can see I, all, uh, I once again used the uh, tried and uh, proved approach of the locks and pins. So, yeah, here we have the second part. Um, basically, none of those parts from the, from the main body of the ship uh, requires any support, so I'm really happy about that. 
but anyway yeah here are those two parts and the adjacent parts so far it's relatively straightforward now we will have those pins that goes through to the other side now you may be wondering why are those uh, rectangles I guess he, uh, here uh, don't worry you will see anyway now we have the second layer and it uses those pin that pins we have to actually attach it and it has the same lock mechanism so now the second part as you can see it also has corresponding hole here and here and two holes that go through all the way through so those pins go through and it has locks here here and as you can see it has two other locks okay now we will go to the bottom side so we have this piece that goes through those pins that we already inserted the corresponding parts and they once again have the same lock mechanism and another so it should hold together pretty nicely both halves actually the top and bottom okay now on the other side because we have those four pins here we will attach the main pyramid which has corresponding holes for those pins and it has one more lock and you may have noticed that we have one pin here that's because here we have this part with corresponding lock here and corresponding hole here and now once again the bottom part here we have two locks so this part will go there now uh, those two locks are so far the only points of connection with the rest of the body but don't worry we will continue and we will add the uh, second layer which has a hole here co corresponding hole and hole here so it will be connected to this part but it's still uh, this, this part uh, it's it's still not really well connected but that's intentional because now we have this front piece and to that front that front piece will be attached to the whole front nose it will be inserted there and it will hold everything together yeah, it has this hole and it will be slided there so it will hold all the layers back there and then and then we have this piece the last piece that goes through those rectangle re rectangular rectangular pins through those pins and through this part from the front nose and once again so it will hold everything together with absolutely no need for any glue whatsoever and then the last piece is this yeah and that is the reason why those rectangles are there to add more well details in the same manner as are here already okay that's the main body of the ship and then of course all the details and as you can see the details include those pieces those pieces and all those pieces in the back and of course the cannons now every single uh, attachable piece works in exactly the same way it will be basically slided inside and not only that because it will be slided there there will be tension and it will hold the two halves the top and bottom together even nicer so 
those things are not only for the aesthetics because the obviously the model in the show had them but they will also you know help to hold everything together to hold everything together sorry and yeah and then we have those shuttles those very simplistic shuttles and that's it that's basically uh, the model of the ship but that's not all why is that not all because of this the ship is actually part of the assembly and in that assembly we have the seat ship so i designed it in such a way that the seat ship could be attachable to sorry could be attached to the mothership to the destiny and now we will take a look at the seat ship itself and here it is uh, you um, may have noticed in my uh, thank you video vlog that I already printed a scaled down version of the seat ship uh, that was just to test my printer and that was one of the reasons that I decided that I will actually scale it up a little bit so uh, from the original uh, the, the current one not just the seat ship but the destiny itself is uh, has the scale of uh, 1.3 times larger uh, because I had kind of problems with the test uh, of this seat, seat ship because of those cables which uh, make it really uh, difficult to print anyway this is how it looks like it has the same uh, color scheme as the destiny um, and yeah it's rather simplistic if we take a look it's basically made out of one half with holes then the second half which is basically just a mirror part of the first first one then we have five oh sorry six connectors and then the top part so it's rather simplistic but I guess it still looks definitely like a seat ship and I would say it's nice addition and yeah you can see that here we have uh, this basically a lock and here the destiny has corresponding lock so the two should attach rather nicely and because right now as you can see it's uh, it wouldn't really stand on its own at all because of the seat ship well not only because of that but as you can see it wouldn't stand on its own very nicely even without it because of those three fins that are on the bottom um, I also designed some stand so here we have a connector for the stand in the destiny and inside it will be ins uh, inserted onto the, the stand and the stand is rather simplistic in design nothing really interesting about that I actually uh, played a little bit with the idea because I already designed my SGU gate to actually make the SGU gate as a pedestal but then I kind of left it because uh, most of it would uh, be covered by the by the ship itself anyway so yeah, I guess that this kind of simplistic thing would suffice okay so yeah well, one more thing the bottom part of the ship is basically more or less uh, uh, I, I couldn't really fa find any good pictures of the ship from the bottom so I basically make this completely up uh, from my imagination so this is most likely not like it looked in the show at all so if uh, you would like to print it then bear in mind that this is basically my take of uh, on the on the on the destiny with the sea chip but i still think that it looks kind of nice I am really really happy how I was uh, able to actually make all the layers together and how it fit 
all together. Now, uh, uh, now a little bit, uh, I would like to say something about how I'm gonna print it. I decided that I will uh, basically divide the entire printing process into two parts and thus two videos. Uh, in the next part I will print the main body of the Destiny and assemble it together. And in another video I will print all the details, so all those, all those pieces, all those cannons and all those pieces and the seed ship and the stand. So it won't have basically four videos, but only three. But yeah, uh, considering uh, the type of design, I don't really have uh, any need to divide it even further. So I guess that's okay. All right, then I suppose uh, that's all. I will uh, activate the perspective view so that you can see how it look in perspective and yeah so this is it this is my model of destiny with the with the seed ship okay guys i uh, hope that you liked it and we will see each other in the next part have a very nice day bye bye